Hello Geeks and Gamers, Matt Lunky here with Through Gamer Goggles and this is another box breaking. This is on Three Cheers for Master from Atlas Games. This is a game for two to six players that takes about 45 minutes and is for ages 13 and up. Uh, Daniel Winfeld Schmidt is the creator um, and right here it tells you kind of what the game is about. Your war hungry minions have never been so uplifting. Uh, again, as is with the most of my box breakings, I've never seen the contents of this box, and uh, this is my first look, so you get to see it with me. Uh, it's a card game, and inside we see the cards, we see a couple of different tokens, which we'll take a look at here in a minute. We're going to start by zooming in just a hair so we can take a look at the rule book. The rule book seems a little bit thick, but it's really skinny, I mean, it's, it's like four fingers wide, so it's probably less than four inches. Uh, well, let's see here. Do I have a magic card here present? Mm, no, I don't. Nope. Sorry. No magic card to compare it to. Uh, and as you flip through, you can see right away that they get in, jump into a summary of play. There's a good bit of pictures on the table. There's are on the pages. There's some tables and charts. So even though the book is 18 pages long, uh, if you put it onto regular pages, it's probably about three and a half. So there is, it's not too complicated, and there's a lot of pictures to help you through figuring out how to play the game. Which, hopefully in a week or two, we'll be able to do that here, but uh, you know, I'll, I'll probably film it in a week or two and get it up a little bit later, because right now I have a lot of how to play videos in the queue, um, and I've only been doing one, posting one a week, I don't want to like, you know, spam you. So... Uh, we have these really cool little tokens with these uh, different minions in different shapes. Uh, they are two-sided, but they are the same on both sides. Um, and I would say these are about the size of a quarter. Put that there. Pop this in here. Pull this off, and we'll take a look at the cards real quick. We'll flip through. Again, I have never seen this game before, so I have no idea what's in store here. Uh, you've got like a point value up here. You've got these little symbols here. Uh, clearly, as we get into the rules, they're going to mean different things. I'm going to guess that that's for the different uh, ways you can build. Um, this is Walter. Uh, they have a little symbol here that kind of looks like a little minion. So these cards are all related in some fashion. Uh, there's some, a shield here and a broken bone, so I'm sure that has to do with something in the gameplay. The art is pretty cool. If you take a look at the cardstock, it is exactly what you would expect for a card game. Uh, it's nice. It, it, the, the cards are pliable. Uh, well, I don't want to tear it, but if I had extras, I'd tear it to, to give you an idea of what kind of strength it had. Um, uh, with magic cards, I can do that because I own so many. Uh, and then uh, you keep... Uh, just kind of take a look at the arts on the <laughs> blood splatter. Um, Dink, Cat Burglar Gigolo, Con Ardi, OMG Cake. So this looks like it's going to be a really fun game. Uh, they've got some, you know, I'm trying to put my finger on where this art is inspired. Uh, it's kind of like Nightmare Before Christmas-y kind of thing. Real simple old comic shares but with a dark black and white theme. The parchment really adds to it, in my opinion. It it, it brings it out. Uh, <laughs> uh, it, it's kind of comical. Kind of the art actually kind of makes me reminisce of Spy vs. Spy with some of the things. You got all these little minions trying to team up against the different spies. Um, even though Spy vs. Spy was really more about the two spies, but that same type of mentality from the 1960s and 70s of that just really off-the-wall, bizarre, bizarre, I'm out to slapstick humor you to death type of thing is what I get an impression of looking at this game. Um, it's very consistent throughout, as you can see. Uh, you've got an idea here of, like, you know, I, I sense monsters, ninjas, um, let's see, stealth, yeah, this is probably a stealth thing, here's a box, this, well it even says this is a box. Uh, <laughs> um, look at the rabbit. <laughs> you know, and then you got these weird bizarre types of creatures too that uh, kind of re resemble, to me, mutated types of monsters or experiments. 
So maybe in this little bit of a world here, oh my gosh, you, uh, have uh, mutated monsters as your minions. And we're just going to flip through here real quick to get you a look at, at the art. And like I said before, in a week or two, uh, hopefully to follow up with this video, we'll have your how to play the game video. Um, and again, I have it upside down. So. See, to this, to me, this guy is kind of like some alien monster. He might even be driven by those little guys because they're so tiny. You might have little guys in there piloting it. Uh, there's just so much room to play around with the imagination with these cards. The art, the art is really cool to me. Uh, here, the Tremors mark Sandy's approach or your mom just got out of bed. <laughs> Ouch. Um... And look at, look at the way they made Unicorn. I mean, Unicone. A magical, mythical, magnificent idiot. Uh, you know, so the game has quite a bit of interesting art to it. And we're going to take a look at what these different symbols mean um, when we get into how to play the game. Spooner. Very interesting. Oh, some new... So your cards can be played, and then they're going to be able to do... These are like different abilities you can use with your cards. This is pretty cool. Uh, I really can't wait to play this game now. It looks like they have a lot of interesting creative mechanics in this card game. Um, and then we have... Some... Internet, man, I, I wish I had more time just to dive right into the how to play now because uh, this looks like it could be very cool. And then here, it, oh look, sweet, let's zoom in. We have uh, the broken bone means weak, um, the, the jaw mouth means hungry, minions eat and replace uh, weak minions, and then heavy minions crush other minions. Uh, flying, well, that should have been a given. I should have figured that out on my own. And then you have Agile, so these guys, uh, minions may be played and rotated 180 degrees. We have Kamikazes, they suffer a wound after the attack. Armored, that should have been a given. Uh, claustrophobic, minions die if they're surrounded on all sides by other minions. Oh, wow. Ninjas are played face down. They are turned face up during aggression or when falling. Or when falling. While well, face down. Their other traits have no effect. Assassins may be played in the place of an existing minion which is slain. Pretty cool concept. Now, is this two-sided? It is two-sided. And on the back, you have the turn order. So, inside of Three Cheers for Master, you get all the cards you need to play the game with the reference materials. You get all those. You get a bunch of unique cards. Uh, what's, one of the things that's really cool about this is it's a card game where you clearly cannot just simply go and buy a regular playing card deck and make this game work. Um, and that, to me, is always a benefit to a card game. Uh, if, if I look at a card game and it's just as simple as swapping out a real, regular playing deck, I wonder, I wonder why I might have to purchase it. So thanks for watching. This has been a box breaking on Cheers for the, Three Cheers for the Master from Atlas Games. Uh, again, check back soon for the playthrough or the how to play the game. Um, in a week or two. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.